concrete columns that once supported the S-curve on the Old Bay Bridge are all coming down. I was just over watching the, uh, the southern column, the Bent 49, come down. There are columns that are about 150 feet high and they're 10 feet in dia diameter. They're reinforced concrete. And uh, the idea is they, uh, they cut the bottom and pull it over, kind of like you'd imagine cutting down a tree, uh, only it's uh, a lot heavier and a lot more force involved. In order to make room for the new bridge to come into the tunnel, uh, a temporary bypass structure, TBS, sometimes called the S-curve, was constructed. Now to build that eastbound on-ramp to the new bridge, all that temporary work had to come down so we could build that ramp. And, and that's what, you, what happened today. There's, a bunch of it came down. That's a Caltrans project on the south side of the bridge. The San Francisco County Transportation Authority is clearing the hillside on the north side of the bridge for a new westbound off-ramp and a new loop westbound on-ramp. Many of those new north side columns have already been poured and crews 150 feet up are building false work, basically a supporting framework. They're going to use false work to support the superstructure, even though the columns are in place. So they'll probably attach false work to the columns until the deck is poured. Then all that stuff will come down. Actually, one of my favorite views is, is over on Treasure Island where you can see the new bridge tower uh, surrounded by the demolition of the cantilever and it's remarkable to see how far the cantilever demo has progressed east-west uh, since we started the demo. This is zen-like tranquility, the kind of steelworker inner calm needed to assemble massive tower cranes. The tower cranes are needed because this part of the old East Fan is so big. There are parts of the bridge that they can't remove using a normal hydro crane from the bridge deck. So what they do is they attach the tower crane to the side of the existing bridge so they can reach much higher to get the upper members. So on a, on a, on a quote normal bridge, you wouldn't have to use a tower crane to get as high, but because the cantilever is, is pretty high at the peaks, they're using a tower crane to get at those members. So it actually attaches down at the pier and then runs up beside the bridge. At the E2 footing, it's on the south side of the bridge, and here at the E3 footing, it's on the north side. Phase one of the east span demolition, there will be a total of three phases, will be completed by the fall of 2015. The gap between the old cantilever sections is now more than 1,000 feet and growing every day. On the old East Span, Mark Jones reporting.